gems. We all need gems to buy packs. But what are the ways of getting these gems? I'm here to tell you these five ways of getting these gems. Number one, leveling up your characters. Every time you level up your characters, there's a, a guarantee of getting a certain amount of gems. This all depends on the level that they're at, but the higher the level goes, it gets a bit harder to level them up because they need a bit more experience. But yeah, just remember that every one of these characters have, you know, a chance of you getting gems. Number two, completing your missions. Every time you complete your missions, you can get a certain amount of gems. As you can see, I'm at stage 59 and I could get 200 gems if I complete all these missions. I do remember each world has their own missions. So you have all those chances of getting all those gems over there. Now this kind of links to why I made every one of my characters at least level 30 because they all have their own missions and reaching level 30 for each character gives you 50 gems. Number three, the dual trials. Every time a new box comes out, you're given 500 gems. So that's another 500 gems. And you're also given new dual trials to play around with. As you can see, I am in the dual tr trials area and I'm gonna just, just quickly show you dual quiz. I have one missing left to do. Now this is only because a new pack has come out, but uh, you know, if I complete this, I'm awarded 15 gems. Here's another one on the bottom of the dual quiz, two stars, another 15 gems waiting for me to grab right there. And we also have the loner deck jewels, which on the very bottom over here, let me just quickly show you. I'm missing all of these gems because well, I'm saving up myself. Now do you remember when a new pack comes out, it's normally the dual quiz uh, two star or three star that normally gets added like another quiz. So just keep that in mind. Number four, events. Events come every now and then in Yu-Gi-Oh. So right now, as you can see, we have the KC Cup and the dual quest going on. These events can give you quite a lot of gems. I mean, it's helped me quite a lot. Uh, let me just quickly show you like, for example, dual quest which is basically whenever you duel there's a chance of you getting a certain amount of gems it's not a lot sometimes so sometimes you get like one two or three three gems just jumping at you but as you can see if you reach a certain amount of flaws in this quest uh you can get up to 50 gems and if not you know it's it's, it's a bit random so you can also get these car tickets which kind of like, they really help out with getting really rare cards that you would normally grind for but uh it's all there for you so yeah just remember there's you know all these events that you can get like all these gems and not only that some events they like also help with leveling up your character so bear that in mind that you can also level up your character while doing these events while also getting gems which is quite a lot of you know ways to get more gems. And lastly, number five, PvP. Now, there's a reason why I put PvP last is because you have to win your matches to get all these gems. So, so if your, your deck kind of sucks, then PvP would be the last place you'd go to. But if your deck is average or good enough, then, you know, maybe you want to try PvP because if you look under the details slash reward section, you can see that every win you get five gems and well sometimes you don't but majority of the times you do and not only that if you score even further down the list you can see that every time you rank up you're gonna get another 10 or 50 gems and uh, it even goes as far as to getting 200 gems when you reach the rank of king games but as i said before if your deck ain't good enough you're not gonna get that 200 gems and in addition we have the Kyber Cup, which is another PvP type of event. And to be honest, I feel like the Kyber Cup is the best way of getting gems in PvP because there's a little mission if I go back and show you. Just by playing three matches in the KC Cup, you can get 50 gems. Now this resets every day, so you get 50 gems every day. And that's quite a lot of gems. So not only do you get those 50 gems every time you play three duels, if I look under the 
the rewards in this uh, KC Cup. Look at that. Every time you rank up, 50 gems. And if you rank up even further, 100, 150, 200 when you reach the max. That is a lot of gems. And now this also counts towards your victories in the rank duel. So five gems on top of that and not only that there's also this stamp uh, that comes out every now and then i'm not too sure if i have it now <laughs> because i don't know, i don't think there's a way of accessing it anywhere but uh, if you do know this if there's a way of accessing it somewhere please do let me know because i want to know myself but yeah there's also the stamps which can award you at least i'd say 100 150 it, it varies every now and then but that's a lot of gems. Now those are the five ways of getting gems. But let me tell you, there is a few more places that you can get gems. So one of the places are the little hidden areas of the world. So we have the fountain, we have the lamps, we have the shop, and we have the dustbin. Now we didn't get any gems right there, but there's a chance of you getting two to five gems maybe even one <laughs> when you uh, click on these but once again every little helps right another way of getting gems is to just jump into the game you get the login bonus and uh, depending on what day you log in um, you get 20 gems pretty fair and so guys that is the five ways of getting gems and a few more additional ways i'm sure there's possibly some that are missing but I'm sure you can figure it out. And so guys, thank you for watching. My name is Shore Devil, and I shall see you guys later. Oh, don't do it. Don't do it. It's okay, it's okay. We have uh, two, more, two more tries. Oh my god, I just dropped down here. No. <laughs> uh, get up, man. 